Hi viewers, in this video I am going to discuss about component parts of a staircase. We know staircase which is generally consist of a series of steps. Staircase which is generally consist of a series of steps suitably arranged for the purpose of connecting different floors of a building. Which is suitably arranged for the purpose of connecting different floors of a building. And now let us see what is the component parts of a staircase. And the first component part is thread first component part is thread the horizontal upper part of a step the horizontal upper part of a step on which foot is placed in ascending or descending stairway is known as thread which is horizontal upper part of a step thread is a horizontal upper part of a step on which foot is placed on which foot is placed in ascending or descending stairway in ascending or descending stairway this is known as a, this horizontal upper part of a step which is used on which foot is placed is known as thread and the next one is riser and the next one is riser riser is the vertical portion of a step riser is the vertical portion of a step this vertical portion which is called as riser riser is the vertical portion of a step and the next component part rise and the next one is rise it is the vertical distance between the successive threads it is the vertical distance between the two successive threads it is the vertical distance between successive threads so difference between riser and riser is riser is the vertical portion of a step riser is the vertical portion of a step and rise is the vertical distance between two successive threads and the next one going and the next one going horizontal distance between two successive risers horizontal distance between two successive riser this vertical portion is called as riser this vertical portion of a step is called as riser the horizontal distance in between two risers is known as going the horizontal distance between two risers is known as going okay the horizontal upper part of step on which foot is placed is known as thread the horizontal upper part of step on which foot is placed is known as thread the vertical portion of a step is known as riser the vertical portion of a step is known as riser vertical distance between two successive threads this is the thread and this is thread the vertical distance between two successive threads is known as riser and horizontal distance between two successive risers horizontal distance between two successive risers is known as going okay and the next one the outer projecting edge of a thread is termed as nosing and the next term is nosing nosing is the outer projecting edge of a thread nosing is the outer projecting edge of a thread this is called nosing this outer projecting edge of a thread is called nosing and the next one line of nosing so line of nosing is the imaginary line touching the nosing of each thread so this is the line of nosing line of nosing is an imaginary line touching the nosing at each thread so touching the nosing at each thread the line of nosing and the next one is handrail and the next one is handrail handrails are render assistance in negotiating a stairway generally handrails this is the handrail which is provided to render assistance in negotiating a stairway this is the handrail which is generally provided to render assistance in negotiating a stairway and the next component part newel post and the next component part newel post so this is the newel post it is post supporting the handrails it is the post which is supporting the handrails it is known as newel post and the next component part is stringers and the next component part is stringer this is the stringer 
so this is this sloping part is known as stringer these are sloping wooden or concrete member providing support for the steps stringers are the sloping member wooden or concrete member providing support for the steps and the next component part is baluster it is a wooden metal or masonry vertical member supporting a handrail it is a wooden metal or masonry vertical member supporting a handrail this is the vertical member which is supports a handrail this is the vertical member which is supports a handrail is known as baluster this is a vertical member which is supports a handrail is known as baluster and the next component part is winders and the next component part is winders these are tapering steps which are provided for changing the direction of a stair winders are tapering steps which are provided for changing the direction of a stair so these are the tapering steps in which winders are provided to change the direction of a stair and the next component part is landing and the next component part is landing so landing is a platform or resting place landing is a platform or resting place provided between two flights landing is a platform or resting place provided between two flights which is generally used to change the direction of a stair landing is generally used to change the direction of stair and the next component part is landing landing is a platform or resting place provided between two flights landing is a platform or resting place provided between two flights and the next component part is flight flight generally flight is a series of steps flight is a series of steps without any platform break or landing in their direction flight is a series of steps without any landing platform or break in their direction so this is the flight